Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Ashu Tandon from Sinjin, welcoming all our attendees. Today, we shall talk about targeted protein degradation, which is a novel therapeutic modality. Uh, and I'll start with Chris and uh, Dr. Kenneth Barr. How does a drug previously inaccessible protein bring together knockdown and knockout approaches uh, like CRISPR or RNAi? You know, these molecules do is they, they bring together, you know, a target protein and, a, and an E3 ligase. You know, topic of protax, right? I mean, new modalities are are competing with the traditional methods of drug discovery. Uh, an extension of this is sort of um, antibody protax conjugates, right? Change the shape of drug discovery with respect um, not only to potency or efficacy, but with respect to tolerability. Uh, vaccines and all for the last three, four months in the whole COVID situation, but. While science has sort of taken that exit, the deal making has sort of not stopped in terms of uh, relationships and collaborations building out uh, for a variety of uh, companies in this space in the next five to 10 years. You know, I think it's really fantastic that there, there is increasing attention um, and investment in the TPD space. How much emphasis do you place on on off rates when evaluating your SAR for Protex? That's a phenomenally interesting question. Um, you know, I think we've been wrestling with that for a long time, right? So talking a little bit about C4 therapeutics, right? And um, and, and talking about the torpedo platform. Sure. Um, well, I was uh, the fourth person uh, in the door at C4. And so I was sitting on a stack of boxes that first week, uh, <laughs> ordering uh, equipment like crazy. So there there was no platform. Talk to us a little bit of the partnership with Sinjin, how it's helped you scale up in, in such a short period of time. Our relationship with uh, Sinjin has been critical in, in enabling us to scale rapidly. Science is going to be really, really popular because science will win the day. 